That's why you come here. Day three, the final day, y'all, to close it out strong. We got us one on the T rig early, the Bandito Bug. Hey, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we are out in East Texas, and you have not seen the boat, the Hot Tamale, in the last two months. It's been getting its annual service done. If you saw our Instagram stories, you know we were frustrated. It looks like they mounted our live scope backwards. I swear they work on boats every day, that's what they do, but and uh, we just got it back i even tossed some new batteries in here so hopefully the thing cranks up and we're going to do some frog fishing on lake nakanish at least that's the goal we brought the whole arsenal we've got a bunch of flipping baits we've got some swim baits we've got frogs tied on and we're ready to have an awesome sunset session y'all it's going to be kind of like pre-fishing this evening got here booked our cabin and uh, we're just arriving with a few hours to fish but tomorrow the big day we're going to try and crank on them with a variety of different baits so be sure to stick around for those videos subscribe if you're not let's go try and catch some on the frog we got to get this boat launched y'all we'll see you on the water there we go man it's been a while pumped to fish it though i've never seen the place this busy usually there's two maybe three trailers by the ramp but i think there's a lot of leisure folks out here on the pontoons and uh, man the beach over here is like packed i mean there's a hundred folks out here I've, I've never seen anybody there let's try and fire it up been a while she runs I feel like it sounds a little different. This, this is the first time taking it out since service, so I'm just trying to make sure she's running good. Haven't tested out the trolling motor either. Spot lock was getting iffy on us. Well, it wasn't spot locking. We have not tested out spot lock or anything since getting it back from the shop. It was not spot locking. They replaced the skeg. That thing had come off. It was, uh, you know, you hit stumps, you hit rocks. It'll happen. I, I bet you a lot of folks just keep a spare. Same thing with the prop always wise although we don't have one with us they uh unhooked and then redid the transducer for pan optics so hopefully the live scope is running here she comes let's launch and see if we can find some frog fish in the shallows all right y'all first couple casts devin's tossing out the frog we're kind of fishing a little bit of a flat right here get things started on day one lake nakanish and y'all they uh when we took it in for service amongst other things it looks like they mounted our live scope backwards so it should be looking forwards which is getting deeper but it's showing that it's getting shallower. That's because it's looking that way. So they, I, I don't get it. I'm trying to see exactly what they flipped around. I don't know if they took this whole bracket off. It's, it wouldn't make sense to, so I'm thinking I just need to loosen this piece up and maybe flip this bracket around. Okay, it's about to come off. No, I, I see it. <sighs> Making me nervous. Mm -hmm. There's that. Let's see. That looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah, that's how it was. That's how it was. All right, let's fish. I'm gonna tie on a buzz bait. Oh, got him. Yeah. Black buzz bait. There we go, y'all. They were being finicky on the old froggy, but we switched it up right at dark and the buzz bait pulled through. This is the black with the uh, gold blade. And uh, we're throwing that on the muscle rod and I'm just doing fluorocarbon since I'm just reeling it constantly and I didn't have an extra braid set up that I wanted to spare. So, boom. I was just restarting the GoPro and we caught a crappie on a crankbait that was sitting still. Well, not what we came for, big boy. Oh, got him. Oh, yep, they like the uh, the louder top waters. Nice. There might be a handful back in here. You gotta use this and I'm gonna tie on another, another something like it, okay? Top water might be the way. That's on like a little baby whopper plopper. It makes a much more subtle noise, but just enough to uh, do some work over the frog, which wasn't being loud enough. I think they liked that noise because last night it was the buzz bait. First fish of the morning. Let's go. See ya. Oh, got him. Nice. Woo! So I'm gonna grab the net out just in case we do get a big one with these treble hooks. I know you can flip them up here on braid, but that one might be good. All right, we haven't seen him. Oh. Nice, better than the last one, huh? Sick. They're liking the loud top water. That's what we want to see. All right, Devin just got one a little bit bigger in the boat. You want to come show it to the camera on the deck? 
was not going anywhere. First Mackinac fish for me. I missed a pretty good one. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that though. We might have found a trend. Bye, bud. Let's go. Nice. Maybe. Oh! Be a little bit bigger. Come on. Yes. Decent one right there. I was just wanting to hit the shade pockets now that it's getting sunny. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just throw it somewhere that I normally wouldn't. Speaking of spot lock, dude, it keeps unspot locking itself. The baby plopper seems to be the only thing doing it, man. I'll show you all the baits we've thrown this morning. It's only probably 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Devin hopped off the boat, ran to the cabin. She's walking the pups real quick. So I just went to explore this cove right across from the swimming area and the launch while she's doing that. And uh, we got us a little, little, little tyke. Got him. Oh, it's a friggin' baby. Okay. Come off the hook. That's fine. That was, that was probably a 10 incher. Look at, see, as I'm cruising this, I just saw so much minnows and little shad just bursting at the surface, man. That's exactly what this is imitating. And that's why we're throwing the smaller size. We have a bunch of bigger size whopper ploppers and like the revolvers. I, I would even be throwing the Guggen Squad revolver for sure. But this little dude really mimics the bait that these bass are feeding on right now up shallow. And it seems anywhere with wind blowing on it is where we're getting these strikes. And it's kind of overcast all day. So we could get away with throwing the top water for quite a while. Usually when the sun comes out, the top water bites already died. Here comes some shade as that sun gets high. Look for the bait in the shade, look for the bass to follow. I'm gonna hit every one of these pockets I can. Man, I just cannot walk a frog right-handed. This is good on the left-hander. So easy. Check the line. Oh, got him, got him. First one on the frog of the trip. It could be okay. Oh, nice. Up shallow, it's probably three to four. Oh, it might be bigger. Oh, it might be bigger. Yes, yes. Oh, up shallow. Oh, it's not three and a half pounds, but it's a good fish. Going straight to the well with that one. Woo, we set that hook fast. We got ambitious with it. That's what we want, man. Top water on Nakanish. That's why you come here. He read the instructions, y'all. He said, eat me. Okay. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was just a double digit right there? Like, <laughs> just like <laughs> inches of water. There we go. Just like last time. Nice. Come on. It's like, yep, he might even be bigger. There's been one back there almost every time we've been here. He's swimming towards us. He's swimming towards us. Oh, oh, yes. A good one back there in the back. Come on. That one's freaking full right there. He choked it. Might be frogging time, y'all. Wow. I saw like something a little bit further like towards us, so I figured maybe halfway through the retrieve I'd get a hit. He hit it like right off the bat. Kind of surprised me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Starting to dislike this back area. Come back around for it. I saw that swirl. I landed like right on a fish. Got him. F I might have set the hook too early on that one because he grabbed it from right over the log. Oh. Okay, we're good. Oh. Yes. Oh gosh. Nice one. Nice. In the tree. Oh gosh. You got this. Come on. Come on. Come on, bring it home. Oh my goodness. Just be quiet, be quiet. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Five plus. <laughs> He's in the tree. <laughs> wow. Dude, that thing Bandy pulled. In the tree. I know, when I, saw, I thought Did that you see thing it? was freaking a tank when I saw it not come up. We're going to go ahead and let these things go right where we caught the biggest of the day off of the uh, the homie's dock. Man, we're going to donate a couple good fish to his uh, little habitat he's got going over here. So we're going to get these things out of here. We might also measure a couple just because uh, I did that kayak tournament the other day. And I'm kind of curious what these four measure out to be. And we'll uh, see what we have at the end of the day. It, usually we weigh them on the bass boat versus measuring. But I'm kind of curious on the length here. So first one on the board is about 18, y'all. Solid fish. 
16 and a half on number two. 17 and a quarter. Now Devin's big bandito bug fish. 20 and a half. All right, one last look at her. She is ready to go. Just skinny, just that post spawn, just trying to feed back up. Hasn't really gotten that girth back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and say bye-bye. Literally right back to the tree. <laughs> yeah, knows the spot. Let's go. All right, y'all, we hope you enjoyed the first half of the day on Lake Nakanish. We're gonna wrap things up, grab some lunch, and we're gonna start this thing throwing some different baits on the second half of the day. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment. Uh, let us know how beautiful you think this lake is. I mean, it is just pristine. One of our favorites, absolutely, in East Texas. So, breaking out the hot tamale in the last two months after it went in for its annual service, and we broke her back in right. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.